hello guys so you are trying to create a stripe account but you find out that um, your country is not listed among the countries that can create a stripe account well i'm here with the solution in this video i'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step guide on how you can create a stripe account if you are from non-supported country like nigeria south africa south korea ghana tanzania egypt any country at all this method i'm about to show you is going to work best for you and at the end of this video i'm also going to talk about what you need to do if you want this account to last and the better alternative to use compared to this method i'm about to show you right now so without wasting much time let's jump right into it all right so here i am on the stripe uh, website once i get here what i want to do is that i want to click on this sign in Alright, so once you get to this page, you want to scroll down so you see um, this sign up. So click on sign up. Alright, so at this page, this is where you want to input your email, you want to input your uh, full name, you also want to input the country, you also want to input the password. Now for the country, we are going to be using United Kingdom. And for the name, every other thing you are going to use here, like the name, your full name is going to be the name on your id card or your international passport then once you do that you want to fill in your password a strong password understand let me quickly feed that so that we can go to the next step all right so once you do that the next step is for you to confirm your email so you can either open the email from here you just go to your email address to confirm it so i'll just go to my email address right now to confirm this email all right so once you click on that link that confirm email link this is where it's going to land you so from here you can click on this as at is either you click on this activate payments or you explore the fixtures so from here i'm just going to click on this explore the fixtures then it's going to redirect me down to this uh, this dashboard you can see from here that this is still on test mode so don't worry we are going to activate it soon Alright, so from here you want to click on maybe you want to accept payment online or in person, manage subscription, run platform marketplace, create uh, this. So you want to accept payments online or in marketplace. So you want to get started with the payment link. So now this is where you are going to be setting everything up. So for the business location, it's going to be UK for the type of business is going to be individual don't go ahead and choose company it's going to be individual or sole proprietor so you want to click on continue this is where you want to fill in your legal personal name so you are going to start with your first name and last name then your email address is already there, there your date of birth then you want to fill in the home address so let me just start from this first one which is my name i'm going to fill first name last name then my email address is already there then this is where i want to put my date of birth make sure that your date of birth is at appear on your id card or your international passport because you are st they are still going to request you to submit your id card later after you have set up everything so i'm just going to um, click here to set it up so once you set up the date of birth this is the next step which is the address so the address one address two town and uh, postal code so from here you can now fill in the necessary address so for me uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use my gray to fill in this detail if you have other account like uh you have other account like wise pioneer or geek pay you can as well use it but for me i'm just going to use my gray detail so if i come back to my gray account and i click on this british pound then if i show down i should be able to see all my details here you can see so i'm just going to this is the address this is what i need i'm just going to copy this then come back to here then paste it now um this is going to be the first the address one then this is going to be the address two copy paste then this is going to be the uh, town or city copy paste then uh, this is going to be the postal code copy and paste it here then you want to remove all this other part the last part now this is the address remove this as well 
understand so this is how it's going to look like if you are using other company like pioneer or GeekPay, then the address you are going to find there is going to be different so but for grade this is the address i can find on in my account right now so just input the address now when it comes to phone number you want to click on this down button you can see that we have this plus four four which is the uk phone number if you have a uk phone number you can use but we advise you not to use all this online um, phone number like the one you can just go to google and get because if you do that they are going to another person is going to get access to that kind of number and they can access your account because the number is public but if you have personal number like from maybe like dinton or other service like that that you have full access to then you can use it but if you don't have what you can do is that you can come here and change this country code to nigeria just type nigeria here then you are going to find nigeria here then once you find Nigeria, just input your Nigeria phone number. So I'm just going to input my phone number. So once I input my phone number, the next thing I want to do is to click on continue. Then at this point, this is where they are going to ask for your vast number. As you can see, this thing is optional. And they are going to ask for your industry. So your industry depends on what you are selling and what you are using this Stripe account for. As you can see, you can. there is a lot of industry here. But for me, I'm just going to select digital product because i run a data marketing agency company and i also sell online course so my my product is digital you cannot touch it but uh, you understand the point so then under this digital i can just say other digital goods now they are going to ask you to provide your website if you don't have a website you can copy one of your social media accounts link like Maybe you run a YouTube channel, you can copy the link and paste it to you. Or you have a Facebook page that have reasonable amount of followers, you can paste this. Or you have a TikTok page that you have a lot of followers. Not a lot, at least you have something that is going to make it like real that this thing is actually operating. So you can also put it here. But for me, I'm just going to input my website name right here. Now you want to give a product description. What is your website all about? So for me, I run a digital marketing agency where I help people to design websites, run Facebook adverts, set up a CAC registration and all that. So, and also run Google adverts. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to input the necessary details here. All right. As you can see from here, I'll describe my business, which is my business is also my product. As you can see product description, but this is what my business is all about. So once I do that, I'm just going to click on continue. Alright, so there's a description on how you fulfill your order. So, how do you fulfill your order on average? How long after paying will your customer typically receive their goods or services? So, for me, um, it's within few days, like within seven days. It's not up to two weeks. I can just say within two weeks. Understand? My it's going to take like three to five or seven days, but I'm just going to pick two weeks. Then after I'm done with that, I'm just going to click on continue. Now, this is the public details. This is what your customer is going to see when they debit them. Maybe they pay this, is what they are going to see. So for me, I'm just going to put the name of my company. They are also going to show the customer support number, which is going to be your Nigeria. It's going to show your Nigeria number. But if you have UK phone number, as I said earlier, you can go ahead and use it. So, but if you don't have, there's no point of stressing yourself. You can use your Nigeria phone number. Then you also also want to do a shorting descriptor, so you can do like some um, green D. So I'm just going to do. Then once I'm done with that, I want to click on continue. All right. So at this point, this is where you want to add your bank um, account number. So um, what you are going to do is that you are going to change this from British pound to um, euro. You can also change it to maybe like um, USD as well. But I prefer to change it to Euro. So from here, I can now choose country of the bank. So it's going to be UK. Then from here, I'm going to input the IBAN number. So if I go head over to my gray account, this is the IBAN number. So I'm just going to copy it. Then I'm going to come back here, paste it, do the same thing here. So once I do that, I'm going to click on continue. At this point, it say keep your account secure. So, um, uh, which of this, uh, method are you using for this Stripe account? So, uh, most of the time I like to use authenticator app, but in this case, I'm just going to use SMS. So confirm. 
So I'm going to put in the code here. So once you do that, you want to click on this download backup. Uh, this is a backup code. So download it. So once you have saved the backup code, then the next thing is to click on I've saved the code. So once that is done, you are going to click on done. What you want to do next is to click on continue. For now, we are not going to need this. We are just going to skip this for now. Then this is the summary of what we have been doing so far. So it's going to show um, it's going to show your business detail, which is my website and the business type. It's going to show the public details, which is what my customer is going to see anytime they pay. It's going to show the management, which is me. And it's going to show the payout detail, which is my bank. Once I do that, I'm just going to click on agree and submit. All right, now you can see that this thing has left the test mode and it only activates. Now you can go ahead and start receiving payments with your Stripe account. As you can see, it now said your account is now active. And that brings us to the end of this video. But before I end this video, what I want you to understand is that this method is not the best method out there. One of the best methods out there is to create a US company then use that us company to set up this stripe account because with this stripe account they are going to request you to uh for more information as time goes on maybe if you use it to receive a certain amount of payments they are going to ask you for more verification which can be like your miss of identity like international passports or driving license sometimes and sometimes they are going to ask you for the proof of address but for the proof of address you can actually download your gray bank statement then upload it to this website but this is not the best method is the chance of you getting approved is 50 50 understand so i just want to tell you the truth this chance of you getting approved with that with this method if they require more information is 50 50. so what now happens is that you can actually register a company in us then use that information to set up a stripe account so this stripe account is only good maybe you want to receive a one-time payment from your clients and the payment is not much maybe like something like fifty dollars hundred dollars so on and so forth but if you are using this account for the long run maybe you want to use this account to receive payment for your shopify store you want to use it to receive payment for for your clients and they want to pay you for as much as like one thousand dollar or five hundred dollars this account might not be able to handle that kind of payment because the information we use to set up this account is not so accurate so what do i suggest you can still use this method to receive payment but it's not 100 percent guarantee that um your account is safe you understand for you to open the safest one is that you set up a U u.s company and use that information to set up the stripe account and for you to set up a u.s company you can be spending nothing less than 250 dollars or you can also set up a uk company then use that uk information to set up this account and for you to set up a uk company as well you will need nothing less than 150 dollars now if your purpose of you creating this account is to use it in the long run maybe you want to use it in two three four five years time then i would suggest you go with the uk method because it's one of the best method out there you don't have to be worried about ain you don't have to worry about ssn and all that but since this is going to cost you much and i know that you might not have up to that 150 dollars to set up your uk company so what i'm doing is that i've go out there and find the best method out there that is the one that is not going to cost you more than 25 dollars to set up for you to set it up and start running a uk company with as low as 25 dollars you can set up a uk company and use that company to set up a stripe account by doing this you are on the safer side because if they request you for more documents you can easily provide it to them because your business is legit you register your business and everything is running perfectly fine so setting up a us or uk company is one of the best methods to use this method is good if you want to receive a one-time payment or the payment you are trying to receive is not that much but if you are serious about the business maybe you are using this for long time business i will highly suggest you set up a us or uk um, company then use that information to set up a stripe account now if you want to set up a uk company for as low as 25 dollars you can share the description of this video you are going to see a link there that is going to redirect you to a page now this information is not free but it's not expensive as well so it's just ten thousand naira or twenty dollars if you are interested in learning about that just click the first link you are going to find in the description of this video and as i said earlier you can still use this method but 
as time goes on they are going to request more details but for you to be on the safer side and you don't have too much money to spend right now you can set up a uk company for as low as 25 dollars then use that information to set up this account and i hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up so that more people like you that are looking to create a stripe account from non-supported country can get to see this video share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification so that anytime i drop a new video just like this you'll be among the first people to be notified